Vermont. Uh, we had 3G, 4G, 5G, you know, three years from now, it'll be table stakes. Is there going to be a six and a seven? I mean, what's it going to look like in two to three years? What can one expect? Yeah, I mean, there could be a definite possibility of those. Uh, that we're still waiting and, and working on those and seeing what there are. But a lot of what we're talking about here today, just, you know, I think with the world and the way it is today, we've seen a lot of what we thought would be happening three to five years from now accelerated into today and how we need to make sure that we have connectivity to all this different type of information that's out there, whether it's being something that's going to be inside of a mobile edge compute to be able to support um, all these end applications or the real time focus um, capabilities that are out there and sensors or connectivity back to things inside of a, a, what I would say is a traditional brick and mortar data center or cloud um, infrastructure. How are you gonna have connectivity between those things to make sure that people can work where they need to, how they need to, and um, in the manner that they need to. And a lot of that needs to look at, you know, when we're trying to make sure there's connectivity and these end-to-end -end view of the solutions is, how do we look at those outcomes? Um, and make sure that we're driving to the outcomes of what those end users are, are going to be, whether it's in the defense space, civilian space, or anywhere um, that we, we work in. Um, we want to make sure that we don't fall back on what we look at used to in the past of so silos and saying, okay, what is my specific requirement I'm trying to, how much bandwidth do I need or how much compute do I need? It's really, you know, how do those, those individual technology pieces fit together to drive an outcome for that end user? And that's what we're looking at here at Verizon when we bring in all the connectivity pieces, the security pieces to secure that, and then how, you know, make sure those applications move and flow from where the, you know, the data is to that end user that needs it to, to complete whatever they're doing.